You know something? We are working on the HR2510. And, uh, it's always nice to have cool little meters kicking around. Because you never know when you need a voltmeter to read voltage or amperage, capacitance, checking diodes, transistors, and, you know, all that fun stuff. Nice LCD screen. And, of course, these meters works on 9 volts. And, um... I've got a few different little meters. Got a capacitance meter here that uh, was given me by uh, by Dwayne B1 Elf Elf Bravo, and uh, also got another meter that I've had for a very, very, very long time. Um, I can't even remember how long it's been eons for sure. Old meter. I've had this one for like forever, and uh, I use it a lot. And well. Sometimes it's nice to use a new meter, a new style of meter, and a digital multimeter. Uh, it's nice to have a voltmeter that does run on a 9-volt battery. The uh, 9-volt battery lasts, you know, whatever, a while. But sometimes it's nice to be able to have a voltmeter that you can recharge with USB port and not have to pull apart your meter all the time and uh, change batteries. Well... It just so happens that I had a company contact me, um, through YouTube of course, and they would like me to review a nice little multimeter of theirs, and it's a, sm uh, a smart uh, digital voltmeter uh, by Kiwitz, this one right here. Uh, they sent me this one to do a little review on, it's a great little, I've seen a bunch of uh, write-ups and whatever on uh, online about it. Um, received this one in the mail a few days ago. Uh, voltage, resistance, capacitance, current. Um, it's still sealed. Haven't even opened it yet. It's the KM601S. And uh, I'll have a link in the description as where you can find this meter. But uh, I think it's a meter that would definitely come in handy for the, for the bench repairs. Especially working on the uh, the old HR2510 that uh, just don't want to work. It's just too contrary to want to work. <laughs> so, no further ado, I'm gonna pull it apart and have a look at this. And uh, not pull it apart, but have a look at this uh, smart uh, digital multimeter by Kiwitz. Again, it's the KM601S, and uh, again I'll have the uh, a link in the description as to where you can find this awesome little meter. So let's have a closer look at this and see what comes in the box. So let's uh, let's have a little peek at this uh, awesome little uh, voltmeter. Let's see what comes through this or comes with it. I'll just break the seal here. And, uh, let's see what comes. Uh, let's see what comes with this uh, meter. Right off the bat, it comes with it. Awesome, awesome carrying case. Big plus. I love the case. Comes with the uh, user user's manual for a smart digital multimeter KM601S. So that's the uh, that's the little case that comes with it. Awesome little case. I had to say. Box the right way. So. Uh, Let's have a look and uh, see what comes with it. So, this is the actual meter. It comes with the case. It's uh, the KM601. Oh, that's a really nice, really nice. She's a handful. <laughs> Let's see. On the bottom, we have range, select, hold, max. We have an uh, auto button right here. We have amperage, milliamps, common, input. Um, on the top, we have power button and DC 5 volts in. On the back, we have a built-in flashlight, which is always cool when you're working in those uh, uh, dark uh, lit areas, especially working under uh, the dashboard and whatnot of vehicles. I do a lot of that, and lighting is always, always and forever a, a pain in the butt. Um, so it's got this nice little stand, 
so the meter can stand up on its own so that was a nice plus and we've got some uh, probes we have one probe here looks like it's a temperature probe is it a temperature probe uh, yeah that looks like a temperature probe in the bag there yep it's definitely a temperature probe we have the usb charging cord regular usb two on one side and the regular dc plug-in for charging and of course everybody's favorites the leads the multimeter leads so so far it's pretty it's a pretty cool little meter okay so let's turn on the uh, on the on the multimeter by hitting the red button on the top ain't that cool even uh, tells you put your probes in <laughs> uh, temperature 19.4 degrees that's a very very cool little meter Flashlight on the back. Very cool. Let's do a little. Let's do a couple little uh, tests with this thing. Let's test. Let's do some tests on the HR twenty five ten here, and see what this uh, Kiwi's KM six zero one S can do. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's do a couple little quick tests on the uh, LCD board on the uh, on the twenty five ten here. Just to see what kind of because right now she's set up on uh, voltage DC. Let me just go a couple little quick tests here. So we've got fluctuating voltage here, fluctuating voltage there, but nothing there, nothing there. 0.71 volts yeah 4 .13, 4 .07, 3 .4, 3 .4. try to pin it on the actual wires going to the board we got zero there, 4.970, zero, 5.0, 0. 5.0, 0. 5.0, 0. and let's check the two regulators on the main uh, chip switch board. This voltage, this is power in to the uh, to the five volt regulator i think it's five volt because we got 13.5 in we got ground and this is the output we got 5.70 this is the eight volt so we got 13 in and 7.88 volts out so that's pretty uh pretty cool that it, uh it's actually a nice little meter Okay, let's check the temperatures of the uh, the 5 volt regulator. Let's see what the temperature is of it. So 33 degrees, 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, let's try the 8 volt regulator. There's the temperature. Oh, about 34 degrees Celsius, 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's try the, uh, the CPU on the LCD board. See temperature of that.
24 degrees and check temperature to chip switch and chip switch is not warm either let's try let's go try in a couple of ICs on the radio here try IC302 So it's only 24 degrees. Let's check IC301 PLL. 25 degrees. Uh, let me see. IC305. Yes. 24 degrees. IC307. 25 degrees. So far, all this is all regular temperature. This is uh, IC 306. Uh, let me see, IC 302. About 29, 30 degrees. Uh, IC 316. Yeah, so the. Uh, Regulators are a little bit warm. 35 degrees. 8 volt regulator. 37. Actually, pretty cool. That there's the uh, that there's the sensor. That's the sensor for the uh, for it. Pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try some capacitance, a couple electrolytics, see if you can do it. Mm, all right, let's just try, let's try um, I suppose I can do electrolytics, let's have a, let's see, take a random one here. This one is 220 UF. Not sure. Let's see if she can uh, see if she can do it. Maybe she may not be able to do electrolytics, but we'll see. So we could only maybe do it in nanofarads, okay. Well, let's get a couple of those. Let's get some ceramic capacitors here, see what she can do with those. Let's see what she can do with ceramic. Zero point zero six four nanofarads. Okay, mark 100 on the capacitor. Mm, this capacitor is marked 403. See if she can do with that. See if she can do with that. Thirty two point thirty two nanofarad. Okay. Let's see what it can do with a two two three. Two twenty three. Let's see eighteen nanofarad. So just using the regular uh, regular probes. But uh this is pretty cool. The K Leaks uh, KM601S True RMS 10,000 counts, does amps, milliamps, uh, does voltage, um, ohmage, diodes, capacitance, microvolts. It can read hertz, temperature, uh, milliamps, amps. It's a very cool little meter.
backlit and all. And uh, if you would like to own one of these yourself, then uh, I'll put a link in the description below in, below in the video. But uh, that's a very cool meter. This is very, very cool. Very cool. But, uh, yes. Definitely be putting this one to use on the bench. <laughs> 100%. Okay, folks, that's the Kiwiks KM601S. So if you're interested in getting one of these, again, I'll have the uh, I'll have the link in the description. And I would like to thank the uh, supplier for the uh, for do, for me to be able to do this little review on the beater. I appreciate it very much. Big thumbs up, big thumbs up indeed. So, anyway, folks, that's it for the for now. And uh, yeah. Look for more videos with me uh, using this meter. I'll be definitely uh, putting this one to use. This backlit LCD screen, this is awesome. I love this. That feature is actually awesome. Because, uh, you know, working in, even working in vehicles and stuff, like I'll turn off the light here. And you'll see for yourself. It stays lit up. Like, how freaking cool is that? That alone, that's, that alone, I would definitely purchase this meter. Just for that one feature alone, the backlit LC screen, LCD screen. You can get the regular LCD screens from from uh, you know from meters, and then hit a button and turn a backlight on. But this backlight is always on. This is awesome for working in low light areas. If you're outside after dark, um, and uh, you text a battery or a generator, uh, AC outlets outside or anything at all. If you're working on your vehicle um, after dark. Even if you're on the highway and uh, and you're troubleshooting your vehicle, you got a multimeter, an ordinary multimeter with you. I mean, it's hard to see it without a flashlight. What was on the screen? If you have, if, you, if the meter don't have a backlight, it's hard to see what what the screen says. And even a lot of them, they got the momentary that they'll stay lit up for a certain amount of time, then it'll turn off. This one is lit up all the time, so you can be completely in a pitch dark spot, and your meter will still be lit up regardless very 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 nice feature love that anyway folks i'll uh leave it there and again if you're i'll have this um, a link in the description on how you can get your own uh kiwis km 601s digital smart multimeter two rms ten thousand counts anyway all the best folks and uh we'll see you on the next one and uh just as well for us to test the backlight I suppose before I uh, let you go let's turn the backlight on so we get the backlight on let's turn off the light and see how much how bright this thing is very nice very nice so if you're underneath your uh, in your vehicle nighttime and uh, you're stuck for a flashlight well, your meter, your actual multimeter, got a flashlight built in. So it, it, it can actually act as an emergency device as well as a very useful troubleshooting tool. Awesome. Definitely, 100% recommend the uh, Kiwi's multimeter. 100%. This is a very great little product. And uh, you should get yours today. <laughs> very nice. All right, I'll the description in on the below or the where you get it link in the description hey anyway, folks all the best and 73 let's run at 63 turn her off and we'll see you on the uh on the next one all the best folks and talk to you later let's run at 63 Out.